Kia ora, this evening I've got two members of the Vales, in fact the Kiwi contingent, they're based over in the UK, they're now back in New Zealand, to tour around the place and uh, of course they've released their new album, Time Stays We Go, and let's talk about it. I've got Finn and Sophie, how are you guys? Good, thanks. Let's, um, let's go back and talk about the album. I know that you guys had a really relentless touring schedule for a while there. Did you record this album kind of in between breaks or did you actually get a bit of time to sit back and, and work on this album by itself? Yeah, we yeah we kind of um, created a pocket of of time to do nothing but just uh, write it and then kind of rehearse it up and record it. With uh, we've been on tour for about eight years before that, oh, fairly wow. consistently with kind of little breaks here and there. So doing all the other albums, the other three yeah. albums beforehand. Yeah. yeah, so it's all um, so it seemed like a good time to uh, yeah just focus on one thing. Now for, for the last three albums and if you're writing, I mean how, what was that process like if you're writing in between touring and, and doing shows and the like, that must have been quite frantic. Yeah, it nearly killed us actually right. eh? for, a, for a while there. I think by the, mm. by Sun Gangs it had gotten quite, quite bad. Right. <laughs> or just quite, you kind of lose the sense of it being, knowing where you are at any time. So it was really nice to have the time to think about something properly. Yeah. Tell me about where you recorded it. Uh, we made it in Laurel Canyon in LA again. We made a, a second record there too. Uh-huh. And um, we had a, a friend of ours that was working on it with us, Adam. And he, uh, yeah, they've got this amazing studio there with this incredible old equipment right. and things. So we, we go so back there. I was going to say, would you know, London have an influence, I suppose, in the writing and that kind of thing? But then mm. did you write it mainly over in LA then, or was it just recording? Uh, it was, no, it was all written in London this yeah, time. Right. And okay. it was, um, yeah, but I think, yeah, I think all those places have a bit of an influence and in, 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 I guess we spend a lot of time in them now. So where have you been recently? Um, I know that you were over in the States and Europe. Um, so yeah, what as in whereabouts in the States, whereabouts in Europe? We, we, yeah, we, went, into, we went into Canada and went down one side and kind of crossed the middle and down yeah. the other. Yeah, we got caught in a blizzard in Minneapolis, which was exciting. I've never wow. been in a blizzard before, that was fun. Mm. Um, what actually happens is it just snowing so much that you can't move? Yeah, uh, like because we, we knew it was coming and so we were sitting at this show which was at this kind of quite, it's a great venue but it's quite a dingy venue and it wasn't the type of place where you're like, oh that's fine, let's just stay here all night. It's starting in the <laughs> Yeah, we were like, okay, let's try and drive, you know, tonight like we planned and started driving and it was really kind of crazy just seeing snow coming at you and realising like, oh actually we this, this is what what you can't drive in. This, right. is, like, this is not being able to drive a car. Shovels in front of the car. Yeah, no. Snow, right. So yeah. we just had to pull over and find a hotel and go to sleep. It doesn't take much for America to just look really post-apocalyptic, I guess. Mm. And one little thing like that, and then kind of driving along, and there's always kind of overturned lorries on the side of the road, and sleet and yeah. snow. And it's, it's amazing. Uh, yeah, you, it always gives gives up some good um, visuals. Yeah. Favourite bands that you played with and shared a stage with? Snoop Dogg. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That would have been, he's a lion now, isn't he? Snoop Lion. Yeah, it was before Snoop okay. Lion. <laughs> <laughs> it was while well, he was still just a dog. I really, um, he was really cool. I've just never seen anyone be so awesome with a crowd. Like, he just worked really hard at making sure the crowd were really excited. Shake little kids' hands for like three hours before he went on. Yeah. So that was cool. It was just like a ratty little festival somewhere. Yeah. He's still like, no, I'll probably just stay out here. Shaking everyone's hands. Getting stoned and shaking kids' hands. And taking photos hours. with anyone who wanted one for hours, you know, it's and cool. everyone wants a photo with Snoop Dogg, so he's just standing there, like the shins, like running out of the kitchen. Can we get a photo? <laughs> that would have been amazing. Wow. So we're going to go check out the song Turn From The Rain. Is there anything you'd like to say about this song before we play it? Is it about Henning? <laughs> oh, maybe. Is it? Sometimes I think it is about Henning. Well, yeah, it kind of works. I think it's a um, song about dealing better with anxiety and um, it's all right. <laughs> so it's all going to be all right. It's all okay. It's all, it's, it's all going to be okay. Don't worry about it. And here is the video. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for coming along. Can I have a job? Or? <laughs> <laughs> you can check out all the details for the shows on the Vales Facebook page or under the radar.co.nz.